after you start traveling a little bit, you're, you're primarily doing CAPW. Yep. You get to wrestle within your first year, guys like Nigel McGinnis, yep. Alex Shelley, yep. Chris Sabin, Josh Prohibition, Matt Cross, Zach Gowan, Christopher Daniels. What was that experience like that first year, just working with some of the most talented wrestlers in the world? I mean, I know, I know you were becoming a big independent wrestling fan. Uh, you had been around it for so long. Uh, you were a big TNA fan at the time. Mm. So, like, what was that like working with some of those guys? Uh, I mean, I don't think I'd be the wrestler I am today if it wasn't for working with those guys so early on in my career. Like, uh, you kind of – I don't – I think you really learn on the fly when you're in the ring with someone. Um, and I kind of just – like I would be in the ring with them and I'd see how they carry themselves and how they put things together. And I kind of took that from them and I kind of just copied them. And I, I believe like that's, that's really the best way to do it is to kind of like copy and like take someone's outline or take someone's like the way they do things and kind of just do that until you find yourself out of that because i think if you if you just start doing all this random stuff i like i i was very lucky in the sense where i got to work with guys all the guys you mentioned and i just kind of took their outline and put it towards my matches and i kind of got better because of that and then like i'd work with more guys and i just like i'd do that outline but i'd also like add my own little flair on it and i think like i said you kind of find yourself out of copying it's almost like you become like a your own you become your own thing when you uh do it that way and i think for like the first i didn't find myself i don't know i've been wrestling for like 15 years now i think so i haven't i didn't find myself really until like six seven years in i guess yeah it takes a long time it's a very long process and that sounds about right and 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 you were very lucky in the sense because alex shelley was a guy that you know you give a lot of credit to Shawn michaels but especially your early days and you know, people close to you used to make fun of you a little bit for it. Like you emulated Alex Shelley a lot. Like, was there something specific that like you picked up from him working with him that maybe you still carry to this day? I just, I just really appreciated his knowledge of all these different styles of wrestling and like how he didn't just stick to one set thing. Like he did all this, he did Lucha Libre. He did uh, like a Japanese influence. He did a British influence. He did all this different things. And I, I was really fond of, tons of different styles of wrestling and i just like the way he carried himself too um and it's super funny now because i just like i developed a relationship with him as well and he just texted me and uh I, he just had a match uh in roh i believe yeah he's and, back in uh, i mean the the people that know know that like he was the one who gave me the border city stretch which became the gargano escape which is the mission i use yep. like uh that was a big angle in dgsa on the indies that i did where he kind of handed it down to me. Um, but now he talks about how like he did the border city stretch and like people are like, Oh, he's using the Gargano escape. So it's like such a weird dynamic now where like people know it as my move now, even though yeah. he was the one who did it first. 